Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Java Moss in your aquarium. Java Moss is one of the most popular aquarium plants. It can be used in many different ways. Here are some of my favourite uses. I use Java Moss to fill gaps between rocks in my tank, like these. Just put a line of super glue gel on the stone and attach some moss onto it. As it grows, it will fill in the gap. Here's a tree I made using Java Moss. I put a line of glue on each branch and pressed a tiny amount of moss onto it. Here's what it first looked like, but after one month it has grown really well. I like to attach moss to pieces of driftwood too, it softens up the look. You can attach it by tying it on with a thread or using glue again. If you have a breeder box with fry, Java moss is a great thing to put in there. It gives the fry somewhere to hide and makes them feel a lot more comfortable. in my breeding tanks like this neon tetra fry tank. Infusoria lives on the moss which is what fry eat and the parent fish also like to spawn on moss. I used an elastic band to attach java moss to this stone. It will grow on to and up the stone. If you have any unnatural decorations like this coral, put some java moss in any cracks or holes and it will make it look a lot more natural. This moss should spread up the coral. If you have a shrimp tank, moss is very important. Newly hatched shrimp will hide in the moss and feed off it. It also provides cover for many predators. Some shrimp won't breed without moss. I'm trying to grow some moss to cover my filter. These stones are very common in fish tanks. Use a zip tie to hold some java moss on top of it. Here is it on day one when I attach the moss onto it. And after one month, it grew and looked like this. Fish love it, and my killifish even spawned in it. Click the link in the top right corner if you want to see the video of me hatching this egg. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe and check out my other videos.